Well, folks, up next is going to be for the grandest prize here in UWA, the UWA Heavyweight Championship, as Von Free, the current champion, faces a number contender, Brock Lesnar. And I guess, again, it's going to be a no disqualification match now. Of course, Brock Lesnar winning this opportunity by surviving a fatal story involving Alex Richards, the destroyer, and Gene Starwin. This could possibly be Von Free's toughest test to date as the UWA champion. Familiar piece of country. One man. And there he is. Obviously, I'm not the mem I'm not the founding member of the Von Creed fan nation. But this man still gets the job done. The following contest is a no disqualification match. And it is for the UWA Championship. On his way to the ring. He is the current UWA Chuckler. From Los Angeles, California, he is the one man mission, Von Green. And folks, if you actually ask me to list all the reasons why I just have to despise this man, then all those lists of reasons were quite distinct for the rest of Von Green's entry. All of Brock Lesnar's entrance, probably at least a good portion of the rest of their match here tonight. But the thing is that drives me crazy the most about Von Creed, I'm sure you guys, you guys all will agree, is this, the point of this man is in cahoots with the owner of the UWA, so you know this guy's gonna get, it's gonna get special treatment. You know this guy's gonna do every can to keep that title, even though, even though he doesn't deserve it. You know, many people would still argue even you know, Alex Rick is more than the city the On his way to the ring, he is the challenger from Minneapolis, Minnesota, Brad Razor. So many of you may agree that Alex Rick deserves to be the new UBA champion after he actually already made Von Creek tap out back and claim the thing until Mitch Lawson stopped the match in order to ensue that he claims he saw Alex Richards illegally put on the STF somehow. But folks, will you like it or not, Von Creed's the UA champion and, and obviously the sketch circumstances how he won that title. And that very title right there, folks, the UWA champion. So that's what it's all about here in UWA. As referee Robert Sweeney displaying the hardware this evening. And there's the bang. Oh, look at this. wasting no time trying to hightail it out of there. Broncos are just daring him to get in the ring. Oh, look at this. Oh, he has getting weapons out. And Broncos are just thwarting his attempts to use those weapons. And, of course, this is professional wrestling, folks. You know there's always going to be weapons underneath the ring. And you know every wrestler is going to go for those weapons, especially in these no qualification type matches. Oh! Oh, he's not looking off to a good start for Von Creed. That's for damn sure. Well, folks, while you like Brock Lesnar, while you hate him for his WWE exploits, the fact of the matter is that this man right here is going to dish out Von Creed's just dessert here tonight. After what he did to Alex Richards by screwing him out of the UBA championship back at Claim the Fame. I mean, you saw what happens when men get in that ring with Brock Lesnar. I mean, they literally bring the house down. I mean, you saw what happened when Brock Lesnar fought the destroyer back at Claim the Fame. These two men literally destroyed, collapsed, just imploded the ring. That match was going to no contest. Oh! A Van Creeden made by the chump with the chair. Barely even a one count. I don't know what Creed was thinking about with an early ass pin attempt. Oh! 
drives him down on the mat. Now he's wrenching the arm there. Oh, that huge spear taking down Brock Lesnar. He falls with that cross body, but to no avail. And look at Brock Lesnar, he has a little power bomb. And oh, oh, wait, 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 he's not done yet. A second power bomb. Oh, three power bombs by Brock Lesnar. And just like that, second time tonight, my announcement is being exposed. And our ring crew is definitely getting them, making their money's worth here tonight. We're really making our ring crew work really hard tonight, making them work for it. Kind of go through these announce tables like people go through underwear. And, oh, that huge meat hook like clothesline. We just saw the power behind that one. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my. Four minutes in the match, and we already see an F5 and on the outside floor. And I was hoping you, hope you realize what these two men are going to be dishing themselves, getting themselves into. But the brutality like we've seen already. And now, finally, going back in the ring, perhaps. Brock Lesnar, ours ripping tree into the corner, turns him around, and now it's placing him on the top rope there. And now Brock Lesnar's going up top rope here. He's might collapse the ring again. Oh, and all the all the steel steps. That's not going to be good news for Von Creed at all. And all oh, falling up with that huge elbow, go for a quick pin attempt. Even that didn't even put away Von Creed. And these two guys are easily the toughest men in the entire UA roster. Hell, these two men can even be the toughest men in all pro wrestling. I, mean, I don't like putting over Von Creed much as the next guy does. I mean, I still have to remain fair and impartial as a professional journalist slash commentator for the Ultimate Wrestling Association. And, I, and, and even I am forced, even though Mitch Watson is speaking to me over the headset as we speak, even I have to do my job and be impartial and fair as calling these matches. And I can't let my personal emotion, I, mean, I can talk shit all I want through the entrance. But when the match comes out to be fair and impartial, even when Vaughn Creed's in the match, even when people like Renegade Divas in the match. Oh my god! A huge uppercut. And we saw Von Creek whipping Brock Lesnar in that wedged chair between the ropes. And look at it. Oh, and here's the aneurysm, the new aneurysm. And now Brock Lesnar is going to be bust up. Look at this. Feel the ropes over close. You can see it. And this could be it. And Brock Lesnar is going to kick out of it. Now, folks, I'm sure you're all wondering why it seems like almost every year at Clockwork, like around November, December-ish, like every year, Vonky always switches up his aneurysm. I was wondering that too, folks, and believe it or not, I asked Von Creed, and he's told me that the reason why he does it, he wants to, he likes to switch things, and he likes to keep people interested because, in his mind, in Von Creed's mind, he thinks if he keeps doing the move the same way over and over, people know how to counter it and reverse it. And, oh, another F5! This time, right in the middle of the ring here, turns Von Creed over. We got the new big champion here. Nope, only a two count. That's now two F5s Von Creed's been on the receiving end of. And still this match is still continuing. Oh, the stick steps. Oh. But anyways, folks, like I said, Von Creed, he said that the reason why he switches up the aneurysm and the spine shatter every year because he doesn't want people to learn how to counter them and reverse them, which in my mind, well, you like Von Creed, it's actually a, that's actually a damn smart strategy for Von Creed, and maybe that's one of the reasons 
to, to explain his level of success that he's felt here in the UWA. But now, Vaughn King, a two-time UWA champion, because of that intelligence that he possesses. I mean, folks, I'm sure a lot of you people out there are sick and tired of the cookie-cutter, chicken-shit heel. Well, obviously, no one cares for Vaughn Green. Everyone hates and despises his guts. At the end of the day, he may seem like a... Oh, wait, no! Oh, my! That reverse belly-to-belly. -belly. And I on the steps, and I'm surprised Vaughn Green's able to walk after it. We got to get a replay of it at some point. Oh, no. Oh, no. F5, and F5, F5 through the freaking announce table. Vonky now is busted up. You guys see a replay. And that's once again the second time now this CPV that the, my damn announce table been just exploded and destroyed. Well, in a couple minutes now, I will call in the ring code to set up my announce table once again. Brock Lesnar is able to fight. Just brutalizing the one-man nation here. Folks, I gotta tell you. I've seen Vonky in so many brutal matches. I don't think I've ever seen Vonky ever brutalize like this before in my life. Using Von Creed, he uses his tactics and shenanigans to avoid matches like this. I'm starting to wonder if Von Creed was wise enough to tell Mitch to make this a no DQ match. We've already seen him get put to the suplex, superplex on the steps. We saw a, a release of belly to belly through the steel steps. We saw two F5s and a third one through the announce table. And I think that back suplex might be able to also shift to the announce the steel steps as well. Back in the corner again. And now placing it on the on the, on the top rope here. Oh my! Super again on the freaking steel steps. Oh! Oh wait! Oh wait! I mean that shooting star press. That's that's gotta be it, folks. We have a new champion. Oh wait a minute! Both he's able to kick out. How is man able to get back up so quickly? That's what I'm talking about, folks. Von Kuhn, he's not the stereotypical cookie cutter chicken shit heel that loves to be a coward and run away from a fight. If when that bell rings, he's out there to destroy you. And if not, he's out there to survive. And that's what that's two things Von Kuhn just absolutely likes. It excels in. I mean, yeah, he may run away from a fight on assault. On these big, high-profile matches, he will leave it all in the ring. He will destroy you. Brock Lesnar, my God. Oh, there's that spine shatter. That's got to be because That's what pull away Alex Wickers in the quickness. Back at Claim of Fame. This is how Vonky won the championship. And Brock Lesnar actually able to kick out the spine shatter. Brock Lesnar able to kick out what Alex Winter was unable to kick out of. And for quite a while, Brock has already been busted open. And is still, and after being this match for well over 10 minutes, is still able to kick out the damn spine shatter. Oh! Just throwing those steps unceremoniously on Brock Lesnar's face. I mean, hell, Brock Lesnar's got to be the most dangerous, most intense individual I've ever seen in a wrestling ring at all. When you see Brock Lesnar end people's careers, you see him shorten people's careers. Oh, wait a minute! Counter that into a small package here. Only a two count. Smart thing by Brock was able to counter that uppercut into a freaking small pack and falls with that huge release German suplex. Oh, oh, look at that! The big man going 
high risk of that flying cross right on the outside. And oh, again, that release belly to belly. Now dragging Von Creed. Gets him back up and throws him in the ring. Getting shots one after the other. Oh, he was dropped by he was dropped by Von Creed there. Now he's two men exchanging right hands here. Oh, we go for oh my god, oh my a fourth F five. Von Creed's gotta be dead if he gets a kick out of this. How's this man still alive? And despite this display, how am I still not a fan of Von Creed? And oh my god, another aneurysm. But he's not even going for a pinta. Where's he going? We've already seen a spine shatter and two aneurysms. Now bringing those steps into play. Oh, this cracking those steps. Oh, oh, yes. oh again, my God. Repeated shots with these steel steps here. And Brock Lesnar just brutalizing Day. Just three step shots. Again, he's setting Brock Lesnar up and oh my God. Just get rid of those freaking steps. Four, that's four still step shots. Let me see that much brutality by the still steps because he, because we fought Plan X the first time back at Pony Bash of 2008. That's the fifth shot by those steel steps. But even back then, he only used the steps three times in a row. We fought Planet X. And Oh, number six with those steps. He's already busted open up enough as it is. Oh no, Bronk is measuring this man here. Oh, seven huge step shots. Bronk, this this pin was. This has got to be it for him. Can't believe he went through this far already. Oh. That's gotta be for Brock Lesnar. He's gotta be concussed at this point. It, 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 oh my god! The freaking spine driver that steals steps! Oh my god! I've never seen like a spine driver like that before. Oh, um, just like that. Von King with TV Champion to her seven step shots. And then ending with a spine shadow through the freaking steel steps. And this is exactly how we beat Planet X back in 2009. A whole night back with those use the Andrews in that time, but still devastating. And oh my! Didn't want to see a replay of it, but that's all here for Brock Lesnar. Von King still the champion. Here's your winner. And still, UWA Champion, Von Creed! I guess at the end of the day, Von Creed, I guess there's no disqualification that worked out into his favor, because there's no way he would have been able to win like this if this match was not a no DQ match. Von Creed now the is still the champion coming back to challenge of Brock freaking Lesnar. And folks, what a huge win by Von Creed. Well, you like it, I guess he's going to possibly, could possibly move to pandemonium if he survives well at first fight as the UBA champion to face the poss possibly could face the winner of the score and match later tonight if he survives well at first fight. But folks, we got to move on here with a special interview with 
with Spike Speaker, who's looking for tonight to be on the step to glory to be once to finally become UA champion. Let's go back to the clip talk.